And if you've worked in 3D or with any creative tool long enough, you would agree that file format plays a huge role on delivery and usage of data, especially 3D data, as artists have always found a way to have some form of interchange from file conversion during export to baking meshes for fidelity down to using separate developed tools to forge connections across different digital content creation apps. And for 3D, this was fixed with Filmbox, developed by Kedara in 1996 for recording data from motion capture devices, and with version 1.5 released sometime later and now called FBX for short, version 1.5 was developed to handle object-based models, motions, audio, 2D and 3D textures, videos, shading, and this suddenly became the supported file format for relevant 3D packages. And in 2005, FBX became a standard with a software development kit allowing other developers to provide plugins of their own. And later in 2006, Alias, which acquired FBX in 2004, was acquired by Autodesk in the early days of January 2006. With two SDKs now available for both C++ and Python, FBX has been available as an all-you-can-work-with file format as it curbed and compensated for various data exchange across different DCC apps. And except for Alembic files for simulated meshes, FBX was built to accommodate everything that is needed for a 3D film to be made, hence the name Filmbox FBX. And the closest in terms of functionalities and features are the Kronos, DLTF, and the digital asset exchange file format known as .dae or colada.dae, which was originally developed by Sony Computer Entertainment and later acquired by the Kronos Group and made free under the shared source license. But unlike FBX and GLTF, .dae wasn't really designed to be as fully featured and support multi-platforms as it was made a long time ago for more web-based technologies. Just like every other thing, FBX being the center of attention in terms of interchange format wouldn't be forever, as with a new dawn comes a new interchange file format that would disrupt the industry creatively and make collaboration way easier. Introducing USD. So, what is USD? To put it simply, USD, or the Universal Scene Description, is a file format that is built to contain all an artist would ever need, covering domains like geometry, shading, lighting, physics, character definition, simulation, animation, software-specific modifiers, and so much more without disrupting or damaging the data. All this alongside a solid framework idea for collaborative workflow and interoperability is what USD is and even more. This relatively new interchange format for creating, describing, compositing, simulating 3D worlds is a file format built for collaboration across DCC apps, tools, and projects. And this framework is a very big deal and would be a game changer moving forward. Developed in-house at Pixar and open source in 2016, the Universal Scene Description has become a key part of current visual effects, feature animation, and game development pipelines. And just like the open sub div, which was made available to everyone by Pixar, which revolutionized how we view and perceive 3D surfaces, OpenUSD is doing the same to 3D data interchange. Now imagine never having the need to convert your files, as you can simply open your USD scene in apps like Blender, make updates, save it, and open the same file in Maya, Omniverse, or any other DCC tool without losing anything. This file format is offering users a unified data exchange format, and unlike other file formats like we mentioned in the past, USD is also an API and you can literally open USD on Notepad++, edit parameters, and make changes, as the codes are readable and edits can be done, files saved, and also open without data loss. OpenUSD is high performance and extensible for collaboratively constructing animated 3D scenes designed to meet the need of large-scale film and visual effects production, as it enables robust interchange between digital content creation tools. With its expanding set of schemas, artists can collaborate from anywhere across the world on a single USD file with platforms like Omniverse, solidifying OpenUSD's unique composition ability to provide rich and varied ways of combining assets into larger assemblies by enabling collaborative workflows so a team of creators can work together with ease, as we've all come to acknowledge that there are many cogs within a 3D pipeline to make a 3D content work, and with OpenUSD, this is more easier to achieve. At Seacraft 2023, the CEO of NVIDIA mentioned that OpenUSD would bring together the world to one standard 3D interchange. 
it has the opportunity to do for the world and for computer graphics what HTML did for the 2D web. And this is a powerful and extensible 3D interchange that brings the whole world together. And I totally agree with this, as OpenUSD is built to replace the unparalleled and multiple 3D interchange files that we work with, making it one interchange format tool developers would gravitate towards, removing all the bottlenecks. And not too long ago, we saw tools like Blender, Relution Character Creator, ZBrush, and so on key into this collaborative format. And believe it or not, OpenUSD is now becoming the new gold standard for teams and with over 170 collaborators and adoption across film architecture, manufacture and robotics with a rich ecosystem of almost all industry standard tools plugging in, OpenUSD is the way to go. And to make OpenUSD even more concrete and an international standard, the Alliance for OpenUSD has just begun, and this organization is made up of five major stakeholders, and these include Pixar, Adobe, Apple, Autodesk, and Nvidia. And the idea is to guide the development of Pixar's open source universal scene description technology with Epic Games, Foundry, SideFX, Cesium, and Unity all expected to join this organization as general members. This project is to lay the groundwork for OpenUSD to become an international standard and to expand the use of OpenUSD from an entertainment industry to other forms of digital content creation, with their core initiatives dealing with standardization, evaluation, development, and growth. And NVIDIA Omniverse, which is NVIDIA's free offline and an online enterprise set of tools for describing, assembling, creating digital twins, simulating, and rendering simple to complex scenes, is an available platform where anyone coming from any DCC tool can plug in as NVIDIA has created various Omniverse connectors to allow everyone expand their use of the open USD. As Omniverse currently sits at the top as a convergence tool for all DCC apps and is completely built from the ground up specifically with USD in mind as a USD tool and a connector of tools. With a well-built set of tools and APIs for manipulating and testing USD, Omniverse Offline and Omniverse Cloud are built for this. And at Seagraph 2023, a new set of USD service APIs were announced, like USD Composer, the Replicator, Run USD, and a couple more. And these understand speech, sound, and can actually animate and create some performances. Run USD API gives developers the opportunity to load up USD files to Omniverse Cloud and this gets processed and streams back to your OpenXR and RealityKit device as a well-animated model. And this is brilliant. And for the ChatUSD Generative AI, which was also introduced at Seagraph, developers and artists can now expose, build complex scenes, understand USD geometry properties, and use chat USD generative AI to build faster and create incredible worlds, as developers can now rely on this generative AI to build bigger worlds with a set of prompts in NVIDIA Omniverse Cloud. This beautiful co-pilot tool will definitely change world building and creation for enterprise artists and developers. Combined with the recently announced OpenPBR, which is a sub-project of Material X, alongside MDO for Material Definition, the future show sure looks interesting and data, once more, would be the epic center of creation and not the tools that are being used. And if you're wondering, what are the file types that you get with USD? By default, USD is the primary file format. This is a basic binary file. USDA is the human readable file, USDZ is a zip version of USD files, and the same thing can be said for USDC, which is a compressed USD file. And if you're using Apple devices, you probably might have come across a USDZ file. The same thing can be said for Sketchfab, as in most cases, when you're about to download Sketchfab files, you'd also be able to download these files as USDZ. And with the massive adoption of USD across different DCC tools and industries, it's only a matter of time where there will be just one format to save your data. This is more like a final call for you to start getting yourself into USD, MDL, Material X, and a few more technologies that are out there so you can future-proof yourself. One thing is for sure, AI is coming and it is coming to all of the industries regardless whether you like it or not. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace. Factories or warehouses is a long, complex process. Let's see how you can use NVIDIA Omniverse and Generative AI to connect your OpenUSD to fast-track planning concepts, like a storage extension to an existing factory. Use SyncTwin's Omniverse extension to quickly convert a 2D CAD floor plan into a 3D OpenUSD model. 
and populate it with SIM-ready OpenUSD assets using Omniverse's AI-enabled Deep Search. Then use prompts to generate physically accurate lighting options with Blender GPT. Realistic floor materials with Adobe Firefly and an HDRI Skydome with Blockade Labs. To see the new space in context, compose it on a cesium geospatial plane next to your existing factory digital twin. Fast track your factory planning process with NVIDIA Omniverse and Generative AI. That is incredible. This is the future and this is how everything comes together. USD, of course, is foundational in that journey and Omniverse foundational in that journey and Generative AI. And this is the beginning of a journey that we will finally be able to digitalize to bring software-driven, artificial intelligence-powered workflows into the world's heavy industry.